Hey, good morning there, YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Tim. I got Jenna with me. We're jeeping and exploring, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be running north and a little bit into southern to central Missouri, I guess you could call it. Um, we just got off a good weekend at the Moore Expo, so we're a little wore out from that, so we're not gonna do anything crazy today. Um, we're not really gonna hit any trails, I don't think. We're just gonna do some back roads, and Steve and Angie's leading us today. We got Larry and Shelly with us, and we're just gonna go see some pretty back roads, as I said, and he's got some historic sites I think he wants to go show us. Uh, we've got a couple old schools, a swinging bridge, um, just some you know stuff local to the area. So just stay tuned and check that out with us, and uh, we will see you up the road. So we were driving down this side road and there we found a little cave that's got a spring coming out of it. I, call it, I guess it's called like Cave Spring or something. But we decided to make a pit stop on this other road and check this out. <sighs> yeah, be. Looks like there's another entrance up on, on the right. Yeah. Oh yeah. They're coming out over there. Be curious to what's in there, but not curious enough to crawl down in that. <laughs> Especially not right now when it's cold out. That's a cool looking tree. Yeah. Growing up there, the way it's coming out of that rock. I don't know if you guys can pick that up but there's another cave entrance right there and then of course that one there and then it flows under the road and out a creek on the other side but as you can see we're just coming down a little farm road always neat little stuff there so we're going to get back up the road
disappointment. I guess there used to be a really old historic bridge there that was a little bit sketchy and all that to cross, but uh, since we didn't realize they had tore it out and put a modern bridge there, so that kind of took all the fun out of it, but uh, you win some and you lose some, so we will just go on up the road and maybe, you know, all the other cool stuff we want to see. There hasn't been any changes to it, so we will uh, get up there and find out. the day for so far nothing to go right I guess you could say but we're going to show you why here in a minute that's kind of I guess part of getting out exploring different territory especially when you ain't been there for a while but we was coming down this road and there's no bridge <laughs> and even in jeeps that's not going to happen. So, you win some and you lose some. So, I guess they're taking out all these old bridges and just replacing them, but they ain't done nothing this for a little while, I don't believe. And there. Hmm. <laughs> we might be able to get down through there and go through. I don't know. We're going we're gonna decide what we're gonna do. Oh no, Lily, what do you think? You think we should go around or you think we should go down it? No? Or are you just gonna go ahead and go down it? We're gonna follow you. Go find us a way. Okay, that's what that's what she thinks about it. 
hell with them. <laughs> so I think we've we've took a vote, and we're gonna put her in four low, and do what I wouldn't normally recommend most people to do, but we're a little bit nutty, and we're gonna do it, and we're gonna crawl our way through it. So I'm gonna guide them through, and uh, so I guess I can say check this out. You got it, Mister. Yeah. A little bit more past this. A little bit more. There you go. Keep it straight. You got it. Keep it straight. Just gotta get that rear tire over. Go ahead and go passenger. You're coming down off on your passenger side, so you're good. Turn this a tad to your passenger. Going up the hill. Now up. Oh. Hell, she just gonna send it. Go a little bit, a little bit that way. All right, now straighten it up. And it's straight on, come on.
Home free. It's because that Jeep and Exploring decal on the back makes all this happen. FI. Jenna through this. driver. I don't fall. Alright, now passenger. guys so we made it through that and uh yeah what can you say where there's a will there's a way sometimes like i said i wouldn't recommend everybody doing that but we did there was nothing there there said no trespassing we wasn't on private property or anything so we're going to get up the road and that might be the most challenging thing we do today but who knows nothing's going as planned today so Let's get the road and rock and roll. day has just been full of road closures we were going to turn off on that road down there but there's another bridge out so I don't think we're going to chance that when it's more on a highway but anyways I haven't been really filming too much down these roads because all you're going to see is dust I mean it's just we had no rain a little bit and everything's just a big cloud so no point in that but we did run across this school uh, it's called Harper School, which is convenient. I have a niece named Harper, um, but it says it was uh, established in 1875, so we're gonna go walk over here and check this place out while we're here and trying to figure out what other route we wanna take. So we're gonna turn this around and we're gonna go walk over there and check it out.
I don't guess they do anything with this place anymore, I guess. Just here to admire. Trying to get back a little further. I'm assuming that's the outhouse out there. not a whole lot to it but it's nice just to see these things on the roadside and appreciate the history of them if you've seen our last week's video where we hit the old farmhouses and farmsteads and all that i mentioned how much i love history and can just imagine when you know local kids here actually went to school probably came here on well, we know in the beginning they came here on horse and wagon or walked. Don't know when they closed the school down. It says in 2007 it put on the National Registry. But let's see if we can see inside the doors here. this will do anything or not. Uh, you can see the chalkboard and stuff still in there. <laughs> eh, it'd be cool to be able to look inside of it, but it is what it is. Anyways, we're gonna try to figure out which way we're gonna go next since we got the closed bridge so we'll uh we'll see up the road <laughs> does it work it works stick your head under it yeah <laughs>
So we officially have jeeped far enough that we found the Statue of Liberty. So we're the first ones to jeep the Statue of Liberty in Missouri, that is. So let's take a look at it. Not the big Statue of Liberty, but it'll do. It's the Missouri version. We're just outside this little Boy Scout camp we passed going down the road. Anyway, we just had to stop and check it out. We thought it was kind of cool. So we made it to a little town called Iconium. Just a, a house, basically a store. And you got a, a laundry mat, but uh, a couple houses. But anyways, apparently they're uh, famous for some peach floats here. So we're gonna go in here and have us one, check it out and, and uh, see what all this hype's about. Those peach floats were definitely worth the hype. Fortunately, later in the day, we also found ourselves in an ice cream parlor, so that wasn't the only time that we have ice cream for the day. Sometimes when you go through small towns, just hitting up those little gyms, you just can't help yourself. Stopped off and got a picture of this rock. Looks like a buffalo, I guess. Got the reflector eye, but yeah.
we are currently in Warsaw, Missouri, and there's a big old swinging bridge here. We're going to walk over there and we're going to check it out for you guys. I've been in the town of Warsaw several times, most of it for work reasons, and I've heard about this place, but I've never been here. Don't really know the story on it, but maybe before we leave here, we'll find out. Don't know if it was ever used for vehicles. I'm gonna assume as narrow as it is, probably not. But maybe once upon a time it was. Now let's see if this tells us anything up here. Definitely a pretty day for walking the bridge. Let's see. It says originally it was a toll bridge built in 1904. Destroyed in 1924 by a tornado. Rebuilt in 28. I guess it was a driving bridge. It had been real narrow. But at least they didn't tear it down. You can still walk across it and enjoy it. That's the new current bridge we came across. Taken too. I'd like to have a drone fought drone shot of this, but fortunately I was in a hurry this morning and forgot my drone. And also the wind is pretty ferocious today and I don't think my little drone and like it so much so we'll just have to get a good view of it sure feel this thing swaying pretty good for as long as this thing is but we're gonna walk on down and check it out and uh, I don't see if there's anything interesting down there but it was nice to see this place and know that it was once had cars on here I guess and uh, did not know that it was once torn up by a tornado but it was before my time so anyways we're gonna put it on pause and go see what else. And if we find anything cool here, we'll turn it back on. And then in the meantime, we're gonna keep on going up the road. And I think we got a place we're gonna try out some lunch after a while. So we'll see up the road. So back here, a little soon in the thought. Did not realize there's a bald eagle nest perched on top of that. And my camera will not get it, but I can see white head sticking up out of there so even if I would have had my drone I probably wouldn't want to disturb it however it would have been cool but I would not have done that but how awesome is to see a bald eagle nest on top of this bridge Is our head out. We'll uh, try to get it on the video, but in the meantime, we're going to keep going and we'll, we'll see you guys on up the road.
just uh, had ourselves some lunch at this rusty skillet back here. It was really good. And we're just down here in downtown Warsaw. We're gonna hit a couple uh, antique stores over here and just mess around down here a little bit. And before we get on up the road and see a few more things before we end the day. So just stay tuned with us and uh, we'll see what we have in store. So we just got some lunch finished up, went and had some ice cream and everything, a little local parlor. Um, really didn't need it, but it's hard to, uh, when you're in a little downtown, you see a old fashioned ice cream parlor to not partake in that. So we just came down here to uh, this dam uh, here in Warsaw, Missouri, and thought we'd just walk a little bit of that off, enjoy a little bit of scenery. But uh, we're going to end this here. We're going to leave, make our way, drive across the dam and get on the highway and start heading back. Um, following a short day, I've got to get on the road and get to work and everything. So, But uh, we sure do appreciate you guys watching this. And then also just want to get a shout out to uh, everybody I met this weekend at the Moore Expo. Everybody was uh, humble and awesome. And a special shout out to um, everybody that bought tickets and came to the show and, you know, made that such a success and everything. And all the people that came and donated to our booth for the Jeep and Fear Cure booth. So thank you for that. Um, if you guys got any questions and would like any information how you can help, with the breast cancer, just hit jeepandfrickhere.com 
And then also, we'd love to have you guys come join us at Jeep Branson this year. Um, that's coming up, so make sure you get your tickets for that. They're still at discounted prices until the first part of May. So um, make sure and get on there and get there, get those. So, but in the meantime, we're going to leave, like I said. So uh, as always, keep exploring. We'll see you next trip. Thanks. Bye.